Welcome to Speedway Harley Davidson. Today we are going to be taking a ride on one of our pre owned units. This here is a 2010 Rocker C. You don't see a lot of these around, so let's take her for a ride. Real quick before we get geared up, let's go over a few of the specs of this motorcycle. The Rocker C comes with the 96B twin cam. You're going to get a six speed transmission and the bike is fuel injected. This bike has a wet weight of 717 pounds and the motorcycle is a soft tail. Looks like the bike has been upgraded with a LED headlight as well as LED turn signals. You got this stylish and aggressive 18 inch wheel on the rear with the 240 tire and a 19 inch front wheel with the 90 tire. As you can see, the bike is raked out quite a bit and it gives it that chopper styling. This one has been upgraded with some straight shots and it definitely sounds aggressive. And you've got this aftermarket solo seat on here, but let's get on the road. <laughs> Let's see how much fuel we got. Almost none. Always a great sign. So let's crank the bike up. There we go. Those straight shots are extremely loud. Let's see if you can hear it. They make a lot of noise. This bike has plenty of chrome on it. Pretty smooth throttle there. Pretty smooth throttle. Now remember this is a 2010 Rocker C. They only made this bike for a few years. So it's rare you come across these. This one has 24,212 miles on it. Upon me leaving the dealership. It's going to have a little bit more than that when we get back. Love the sound of those V-Twins. The 88s, 96s, 103s. Um, all of that generation of motor just sounds so good once you throw an exhaust on it. I mean, you can't beat that sound. As you can see, this bike is extremely clean. Alrighty, and we are off. So let's talk about ergonomics on the Rocker C. I am six feet tall. This bike has forward controls, so my feet are forward. So that does give you a little bit more room and make it more comfortable for your legs. The handlebar height is not bad. It's pretty decent. It's a little bit lower than I would prefer, but for the styling of this bike, I am not mad at it. You've got that really wide rear tire, that 240, balanced out with a 90 front tire, which is extremely thin and that raked out look that's what gives this bike that chopper feel or look to it and then you've almost got like a floating seat that i'm sitting on because it doesn't look like it's physically touching the rear fender it kind of feels like it's just floating up there what do we got right here but the bike does feel good on the road as far as the suspension and everything now the way this bike is raked out with that wide rear tire and the front tire kind of thin it takes a little bit getting used to when you're out here riding it the front does feel a little heavier than some models but once you're moving at a decent pace you don't really feel all of that up front which there's not a lot up front so it's strange the way the front end feels i don't know if it's because of how far out it's raked but when you're looking for that style that's something that you're willing to sacrifice for the style of the bike this isn't going to be one of those bikes you're going to want to go do some aggressive ride knowing canyon carving in the twisties you're going to do less spirited riding on this motorcycle than you would on something like a low rider s a traditional dyna um any of those type of motorcycles this bike is excellent for going in a straight line just cruising around and literally showing off 
because it is a stylish bike as far as the way it looks now if you do want to accelerate and get some power it'll put it down to that wheel because that wheel so wide it's going to stick to the ground and you'll be able to get it you'll be able to get some power and torque out of this bike because harley davidson's naturally have that low end torque like right, let me show you real quick we're gonna pull back a little bit see this guy's stopping so i gotta wait to roll on all right we'll go a little bit and i i'll just hit it here yeah for a 96 i am not mad it definitely gets up to speed quite quick and it sounds really good i'm not feeling any of these imperfections in the road i mean you've got that soft tail platform with your mono shock in the rear it's going to absorb a lot of those imperfections i am catching the wind though you know you don't have any wind protection on this model you're just wide open now this is an aftermarket seat uh it's not the most comfortable seat on the planet there probably are some more comfortable options this seat feels a little firm and a little stiff but it is stylish and it's holding me in it's holding me in place so that is definitely a pro there but this is an excellent motorcycle for someone looking to uh, jump into harley davidson get onto a harley davidson and want something extremely stylish i mean the bike's coming in right under ten thousand dollars at nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine bucks so you can't go wrong with that you've got low mileage for a harley you only got just over twenty four thousand miles the bike's been well taken care of you can definitely tell that it's almost immaculate it's very clean got plenty of chrome you've already got a nice sound and exhaust system on here and you also get some looks they were they were over there checking out the bike a couple seconds ago oh yeah <laughs> that bike sounds mean the cool part about having that 240 rear tire is the bike feels planted and solid it's definitely sticking to the road anytime you twist the throttle you're getting the power out of there yeah y'all can see it jerking this is one of those bikes that's going to gravitate towards a specific rider there's going to be a specific person who's just falling in love with this style of motorcycle something that has plenty of chrome something that has that chopper look it's going to have that harley sound something unique that you're not going to see a lot of them out on the road something that will definitely stand out in the crowd because a lot of people will be walking up asking you like is that a harley what harley is that not too many people are familiar with the rocker seat if you've never ridden one of these i strongly suggest getting in the saddle and experiencing it taking it out for a demo i mean we got test ride days going on right now typically that's revolving around all of the newer motorcycles so that people can experience those but we've got plenty of pre-owned up here at speedway harley davidson so you are able to experience those as well another thing i forgot to mention is this bike does feel like it has a lower seat height so it'd probably be a great option for a shorter rider as well I'm gonna try to pull up here which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because it looks like they're setting up for an event right now but let's see if we can find somewhere to take some pictures of the bike and I think we're just gonna do it right over here mm -mm -mm. All right, we still got something in the background. So there it is. You can see how clean this bike is. This is a 2010 Rocker C here at Speedway Harley Davidson. LED lighting, plenty of chrome all over the motorcycle. It literally looks like a factory chopper. I mean, look at that. Let us know down in the comments your thoughts of this motorcycle. 
if you're in the area and you'd like to experience one of these definitely stop in take it out for a demo ride but make sure you're subscribed to the channel like this video comment share the content and we will see you in the next one